But we're going to move on. I have two other videos I want to show y'all. We're going to transition to the real life shit right now, y'all. We, we off the 2K stuff. We finna talk about real life now. Um, I told y'all I ran into this guy right here. At 500 subscribers. That was maybe a month or so ago. This guy right now has 17,000. 17.4 thousand subscribers. Overnight, he blew up. And I just made a video the other day when I was telling y'all, we did a live stream and I was saying, you have to own your gifts because somebody is watching you right now. Watching you not use your gifts. Either you own your gifts or you give them away. Because if you don't do either one, somebody will take it. They'll copy you from head to toe. They'll mock you from head to toe. There'll be a, a blueprint, a 2.0 version of you. Because you didn't own it. You didn't give it away. You just sat there with it. So I made that video the other day. And you know the blow up. On social media, it's not easy. It take a while to have five views, to have ten views. You know how crazy it is to not have five views and you got 30 family members? That's how hard it is to blow up. Think about that right quick for a second. Think about it. You have a family, but you can't even get five views on your YouTube video, on your Twitch screen. Think about that for a second. You have a family, but can't get five views. That's how hard it is to blow up on social media. See, you might think because you're seeing people blow up overnight that it's a walk in the park. It ain't no motherfucking walk in the park when it comes to social media. There are so many people trying to do this. There are so many millions. Of, there are millions of people every day creating a YouTube channel, hoping that they can be the next one. And they can't even get their own family to support them. What's good, gang? So what I mean by owning your own gifts is this man right here, I've been watching him for his knowledge, his abundance of knowledge. How on um, how to become financially stable, how to increase your money, how to be he talk about everything, y'all. He talk about everything. Um, so I found him at 500 subscribers. That was maybe a month ago. This guy now has 17.4 thousand subscribers. So he making the decision to own his gift. He quitting his job. That's the title of this video. The title of this video is I am quitting my job for YouTube. Fuck this shit. That's a big risk. This is a six figure man we are watching who have a job. Six figure man who have a job. Well, he said he made great money. But he's going to quit. Because he just realized he have a gift. And he's about to own his gift. It's not easy to hit 17,000 subscribers. In less than a month. People be doing YouTube for years and years and years and years. They do Twitch for years and years and years. My, more, my, my point of this video that I'm about to show y'all, you have to bet on yourself. Have to. Have to. You have to bet on yourself. You have to. You have to. And I'm not telling y'all to quit your job, but I'm saying... When something comes to you, 
and it comes at you hard and it say i got your income for what you this is i want to put you in a new spot in your life i want to put you in a new place in your life when you get a glimpse of success coming at you you have to go for it when you see a for my dudes that be out here dating and a woman is staring at you smiling at you do you turn around and walk away if you a single man and you looking for a girlfriend you looking to date do you look at this woman that is smiling at you blushing looking at you as if hello do you say to yourself oh man she ain't feeling me like that i'm gonna walk away no you go charge at it you go all in it's the same way when it comes to business when youtube gives you an opportunity to say you have been chosen because there are so many millions of people that are doing twitch that are live streaming 2k there's so many people that get on 2k every day and try to blow up and somehow you started getting traction the moment you say to yourself ah this ain't it that's the moment you quit on yourself close close was getting traction life will give you an opportunity to be that guy that you're trying to be but the life going to also hit you with some tests and say, all right, your light bill coming up. You're going to be able to keep this lights on so you can live stream. Oh, your girlfriend talking shit. You sitting there playing that game. See, life going to give you the test and say, I'm showing you. I got you. Paul was playing with all these major names. And I'm glad my boy ain't here to say real shit because I'm not shitting on my brother because he still went out and did something, got his CDL. You feel me? driving trucks now and doing his thing but i'm just showing you though that life will give you what you say you want but it gonna hit you with some tests and say some shit gonna pop out and say do you really want this it gonna be some challenges so i'm showing y'all this video to what y'all can see what it look like for a man to bet on himself if you ain't never seen it I just showed you what Ben on myself look like. Now I'm gonna show you another one, and I make examples. You have to bet on yourself, and it's gonna be scary, y'all. It's gonna be so scary, but it's it's good to have a little fear. It's good. It's good to have a little fear when you when you betting on yourself. I was watching, y'all know I don't watch TV. But I gotta admit to something. Y'all know the other day I had got off screen and I said, man, I, I got off so early and I didn't want to go to bed. And I ended up watching the TV show, this TV show called Cross on, on Amazon Prime. Tell you one if you watch the TV show called Cross. It's just like all the other special detective shows, but I would just, yeah, I just finished um finished it last night. Then um good fucking show, man. I liked it, bro, because, you know, I told you I love my work and I like detective shit. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm a cop. I could be a cop. Everybody tell me I should just go and be a cop. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't, I ain't, I ain't no cop or nothing like that. You know, I do security work. I work with a lot of police officers, but I ain't no cop. I ain't no cop. Uh, but um, I was watching this TV show. I'm about to lose. I'm losing my thought, man. Fuck. It's finished. Can I catch it? Ah, I think that motherfucker gone. Hopefully it come back. <laughs> uh, but it's a good TV show. Fuck. I lost my goddamn thought. But anyway, all right, so let's just get started with the video. I had a good place I was going, but then motherfucker dipped out on me. May come back later. What's up, YouTube? Man, guys. I'm leaving my job. Dead ass serious. This isn't clickbait. I'm leaving. I woke up this morning 
and I was rushing to get out the, the six figure morning show. It's a little bittersweet. So, I mean, I'm not about to cry or nothing, but it's damn sure kind of, it's got me in my feelings. I've been in this field for, for seven years now. I just hired on with this company, but for one, it's not a good company. They paid me more money. You know, I'm sitting there, I'm pulling in $40 an hour with, you know, overtime and all that good stuff. And I mean, they paid me good money, but it's just, it's just time to go, man. I can't sit back. I can't build. Yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Right now, I make about fifty-eight dollars an hour, um, and I, the reason I say interesting because he's a six-figure man. Said he making forty some dollars an hour. I'm making fifty-eight dollars an hour, and I'm not a six-figure man. What am I doing wrong? Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This business and watch mine fail. You know what I'm saying? I'm sitting here. I'm not bullshitting with you. I tell you guys, success is on the other side of fear. I'm a little nervous about it. We're at the holiday season. I got kids. I got all, you know, I got all that stuff. Just like you guys do. I got bills, rent, lights, water, gas. But I'm gonna go all in on me, man. I'm gonna take a chance. I'm gonna go all in on me, and I, I'm gonna I'm give it a shot. I'm gonna I'm give it a shot one last time, right? I told you guys I'm gonna die on this damn road. So I don't want to come off as somebody that just talks shit that's on YouTube talking shit. I'm gonna die on this damn road. Personal development, life coach, business coach. You gotta bear with me. I'm trying to clean this truck out. I'm trying to be nice. But look, I told myself this morning because I was rushing to get things done. I was trying to hurry up and do the six figure morning show. I felt like I was rushed on that. And I told myself, I said, if I go to work and they're talking shit. So my boss has been with this company for 40 years and he's been in his current position for 25. <clears throat> he's a real, don't touch my stapler kind of motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like he's a real, this is my company. Like he built it from the ground up type shit. And, uh, Man, I just, I just don't have a lot of patience for that good old boy. I just, I just don't have a lot of patience for that shit. And I've been dealing with it for some months. The disrespect, the, you know, from him, from, from him, from them, because he's got a little young protege that, that follows in his footsteps. And he's been with the company for about two decades, for about 20 years. And I just don't have a lot of, a lot of patience for that shit, man. And uh, I said this morning, after I finished the Six Figure Morning Show, I was thinking to myself, I was like, I got to get out of this because I'm going to build their business and I'm going to watch mine fail. Thanks, Samurai. And that, that, you know how that would make me feel to know that, that I have a window of opportunity to chase my dreams, to go after the goals that I've kind of set for myself, to chase the dreams that I've always had since I was younger. And, and this is what I, that part right there, going after your dreams. See, for a lot of people, when you have your girlfriend, your kids, you let those things say to you, you know, you, those things have a loud voice in your head like, damn, if I, if I do go after my dream, damn, my kids going to be affected, my girlfriend going to be affected, my boyfriend going to be affected, my parents. I told y'all the story of me, a janitor. A janitor. And you know, I but y'all I know some of y'all have heard this story more than once. But man, it's a beautiful story. A janitor being picked up to build helicopters for the United States Army. The United States military, not just the army. Go from a janitor making I think eight dollars and fifty cents or nine dollars and something a janitor to building helicopters for the military i thought i had i thought that's where i'd be for the rest of my life right i go from a janitor to building helicopters but guess what i was still live streaming 
So guess what? Oh my blow up. Oh shit. Oh shit, we taking off on 2K. Oh shit. They all ain't fucking with me. And I, I gotta go to work though. Cause I just got this dream of a lifetime. I'm building helicopters. I can't quit it, right? Because that's my dream. I mean, it's not a dream, but God just landed this on my footstep, my door. Man, nah, I'm a nigga from the hood building helico helicopter for the military. No. Looking like me, I got tattoos on my neck. You know what I'm saying? I got tattoos on me. Uh, I'm from the hood where they say, you know, I can't spell that good. You know, I ain't not, I'm not a great reader. Y'all finna give me a job like that? Oh, shit. Y'all finna put me in here? So guess what, y'all? But my 2K shit just blew up. Y'all saying, yo, nigga, we fuck with you, nigga. Fuck you going, nigga. I got to go to work. I got to go to work. Nah, nigga, we fuck with you. You blowing up. You finna get noticed by 2K, boy. It's your time. Man, y'all. I mean, I want to stay here with y'all, but man, I... I got to pay my life bill. Nigga, we finna be serving up. We finna be in here. We finna be rocking with you. You finna get these sponsorships. You... Guess what, y'all? I quit my job. Y'all remember when I quit? I told my daddy. After a couple months. Because I was scared to tell people that I just quit a job. To go be a 2K streamer. I was scared. Fuck you think I was you think I wasn't scared to tell people that I just quit my job to go live stream on a fucking video game? I'm from where it ain't that sunny. Why would I do some stupid shit like that? Why would I quit my job building helicopters? Cause see, I'm going off the title. You know, when you from the hood. You go off the title of a job. Nigga, I be a helicopter, nigga. What is you talking about? Y'all be a helicopter for the military. Don't that sound good? Yo, if you're from a private community and somebody asks you what you do and you say you be a helicopter for the United States military, that shit don't sound real fly to you. Nigga, I was walking around. Oh, nigga, you can't tell me shit. Nigga, what you do for a living? Y'all be a helicopter for the United States military. You know, I can't say too much about it. It's confidential. You know, nigga. Uh, 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 uh. See, I'm stepping around this bitch, nigga, like I'm the man. I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man, I'm the man. Nigga, I was stepping different. Nigga, I ain't give a fuck how much I was making. Oh, yeah, I was making about... I was making about $18 an hour. <laughs> oh, you thought I was making a lot of money. I mean, because I work six, seven days a week. I work seven days a week. Because I work seven days a week, you know, do overtime, I was bringing it home. I was making $18, but then, you know, overtime and shit. So I was making around $25, $27 an hour, somewhere up in there. So I started, I was making, I actually hit six figures working with them. I hit six figures. But six figures came at the price of seven days a week, not seeing my daughter, not being able to raise my kid. It was just a lot. And I explained the story to y'all. but. The title was beautiful. So I ended up quitting that and then it come to 2K. And y'all seen the accomplishment that we reached in 2K. We was able to get a 2K logo. We was able to be the number one 2K streamer at one point. And we got a lot of accolades that belong to me. You know what I'm saying? I got to I got to put my stamp in the 2K community forever. Whether 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 y'all like me or not, I will always be stamped in the 2K community. I will always be stamped in the 2K community. I can't be replaced. I can't be duplicated. There's nobody like me in the 2K community. And that's a blessing. And um, there's many forms of me. But because of who I am, I bless, I welcome that without trying to shame anybody. You know, but I'm still human. So, of course, I sometimes say I wish they would give me credit. I say this to myself. I wish people would acknowledge what I have done for the 2K community. And that's a lot of burdens of me. Uh, that's a lot of people that eating off the things I have built in the 2K community. 
you know, and sometimes I say, and it'll be nice if, you know, they say, hey, man, you know, I got this from Anonymous, you know, I do this right here, you know, you know, because I'm human. But because of the man I am, because of the respect that I want everybody to be blessed, I'm okay with not, I'm okay with being the little guy now. Because I am the little guy. I'm not the big dog anymore. But uh, I have a message. And I still have a message. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and that's what I can't, I can't allow being the big dog or the little dog get in the way of the message. Um, and that's why I'm bringing a video like this. Because you have to be strong enough to take a chance on what you believe is right for you. And the universe or whatever religion you believe in, whatever God you believe in, will show you in something that's right for you. And a lot of people would be in the background dogging you out, not believing in you. Because once my parents found out I quit my job to be a live streamer, oh, you know, you got to be the dumbest motherfucker ever. Ain't no way you're going to quit your damn job to go in there and sit on that damn computer. <laughs> man, come on, man. I got a black father, man. You know what he said. You got a job. You was a janitor working to clean it up them people floors. They hired you in to build their helicopters, and you tell them that you're going to lead them to go sit on that damn video game. Well, you, I knew you were stupid. I knew you were stupid. You crazy than a motherfucker. So, you know, I got, I got crucified. <laughs> I got crucified, man. He said, uh, now nah, I appreciate that for real, though, Claw. I got crucified, man, for qu quitting my job. I got called stupid, dumb. And uh, guess what? Those same people that called me stupid and dumb, with the things I accomplished in 2K, they was able to get benefits from them. And that's always how it is, right? The people that always don't believe in you, it's always the ones that usually receive some form of benefits off of the chances you take in life. Ain't it like that? It was so beautiful. And, um, but most important though, I was getting my message out over the little athletes. You know what I'm saying? Yo, appreciate the new following to the family. If you like teamwork and defense, you love the channel. Grateful for the support. So, I love the fact that we can see older men. Because this should show you young boys some, you young girls. We're seeing an older man right here gambling on his life at 50 some years old. That should do something to you. At 50 something years old. He's taking a chance on him. Ooh, ooh, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Some of us, we don't have to wait till we are 50. We have opportunities right now that are calling our names. Whether it's a new job, whether it's going to talk to your boss about a promotion because you know you have been working Diligent, 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 You've been working at some motherfucker company for a little minute. Y'all know that word I'm trying to say. Diligent, Fuck this shit. We finna get this one. Diligent, Alright, you motherfuckers in that lab. It's alright. Diligent, Dylan. Diligent. Hold on, man. Let me get right. Dilla. Dilla. Gently. Is that right? Type one of that right. Type two of that close. So, that nigga said three. <laughs> that nigga said, nigga, that is not right. We're going to put your ass on. <laughs> He said, break it to the syllabus. Dill, let's it. Dill and I want to put that T. All right, Mickey, we'll come back to it. Y'all know what I'm saying. 
You've been working at that goddamn company, giving all your time, and you've been faithful. Listen, you have to take a chance on yourself, though. And see, this is what I, this is what I also mean. You know, because when you try to downplay yourself, like my boy Clark, yo, like say for an example, you see how me coming to be a live streamer and then trying to share life goals with you. You know, it could be a thing for me to feel some type of way to say, damn, man, I'm finna really go out there and do that shit. And people are gonna see my flaws and say, nigga, you can't even talk. And you say, okay. Yeah, I better not do that. I better not become a, a live streamer. And then I have to get out there and start talking and start speaking. See, I can let that stop me. Or I can just say, nigga. Who gives a fuck? So what? So what if I can't say that word? Does it stop me from doing my gifts? Does it stop me from doing my purpose? And I love it because it do be funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, we're not finna not get this laugh off. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, you're still going to get the information and the content. And that's what I mean by we have to invest in ourselves. We have to take chances on ourselves. To not be afraid of what people are going to think about us. So many of us are not comfortable with turning the camera on and live streaming. So many people don't feel comfortable speaking to an audience or public. But these are the things that can take you to the next level. Because public speaking... And let's see, he said, what if you ugly? Nigga, have you seen some of the motherfuckers that are successful on this internet? Well, you get that ugly shit on up out of here. Get the, see, you ain't paying attention. Get that ugly shit up out of here. Have you seen some of the niggas on this bitch? Have you seen some of the girls? Have you seen that girl? That little skinny girl, that be? Come on, bro. Come on. Quit playing, dog. You know you ain't say ugly. That's the last thing you should say. The last thing you should say is ugly. You ain't seen that little skinny girl be out there like this, bro. With millions of supporters. Ready to see her little shit. Bro, get that ugly shit on up out of here, bro. Ugly ain't the fucking word, dog. Ugly don't exist on YouTube. Ugly, stinky, broken mouth, fucked up head. That shit don't exist. So that's what I mean by we be in our own way. We be having our own fears stopping us from achieving what we can achieve when it comes to this business. Because once you start understanding that audio, public speaking is one of the highest paid business in the world. Um, some people do it for the right reason. Some people do it for the purpose of making money. You know what I'm saying? So you can't be afraid to speak because you don't know what kind of market you could tap into. You can't be afraid to give your version of your reality. You know, like I watch these videos and then I give you my version. Somebody was, you know, a nigga typed on my other video, say, react to the video, stop talking. Nigga. But he still was watching that motherfucker because the reaction is a reaction. But it's my reaction. And it's my version of what I'm reacting to. If I would, that would be stealing. If I just sit on here and let you, if I just hit play on the video and just sit here, then nigga, I basically just stole content. <laughs> and that's what a lot of people do. You know, if you look on TikTok, you see a lot of that. And I have a window of opportunity to kind of do that and actually turn it into a business and capitalize on it. Facts. And right. then if it would fail because I'm fucking around with this company right here. Listen, or you let me rewind that back so you can hear what he's saying. I have a window of opportunity to chase my dreams, to go after the goals that I've kind of set for myself, to chase the dreams that I've always had since I was younger. And I have a window of opportunity to kind of do that and actually turn it into a business and capitalize on it. And then if it would fail 
because I'm fucking around with this company right here for, you know, for mediocre pay. It's decent pay. Don't get me wrong, but mediocre pay compared to what I could be making uh, for the lack of respect that I was received because man, it is pure disrespect here. And that's the issue I had with the company. One, one of my clients, I told one of my clients to their motherfucking face. And I was respectful. Y'all know I'm adding a little, 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 little extra effects on it when I said to their motherfucking face, you know. But I did tell them to their face. And um, I told them, I don't need you. If I can't get no respect, I can't protect you. Simple as that. Simple as that. I let these niggas dog walk you in this bitch. I let motherfucker run clean the fuck over you if I can't get no respect. But before I let them run clean over you, I just leave all this shit alone. The respect got to be had for me to protect anybody. If the respect is not there, it's all business. See, when I try to connect with my clients, I try to build a bond. Because I'm protecting them and I'm going to be around them every fucking day, all day. I want to have a relationship. But now... You done rub me the wrong way. Terrence ain't no relationship. It's only business. Don't invite me over to eat dinner. Don't invite my family over. Don't be talking about you got some gifts. I don't want that shit. It's all business. Tonight, I have a dinner that I'm supposed to go to. I don't know if I'm going to go or not. I don't know if I'm going to go. One of my clients, you know, they having a, a dinner. They invited me. You know, they want you to dress up and all this shit. And I'm saying to myself, you motherfuckers ain't being respecting me. So now our relationship has turned into a business relationship. Don't joke with me. Don't talk to me. I'm here to protect you. And that's it. I don't want to hear about your motherfucking story. I want to hear about your family. And I ain't telling you about my family. You have fucked the relationship up. And see, that's the hardest thing about having a job. When you try to be connected with your co-workers, when you try to be connected with your boss, you try to have a civilized relationship, but some of these bosses and some of these co-workers, they be fucking shit up. So therefore, you're like, nigga, I can't even go to work and have a, 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 a associate. You know, so, with, with, you know, like I said, with, my, with one of my clients, they fucked it up, man. So now it's all work business. And, uh, you know, I, I don't even talk to them no more. You know what I'm saying? I just go simply to protect them. Other than that, I don't have nothing to say to you. You know, you keep your fucking comments to yourself. Don't ask me. Don't be trying to joke with me. None of that. I don't want to joke with you. Because I know what you are. You're a piece of shit. You know, I don't want to speak too much on it. Like everything you do is micromanaged. Nothing is right. You better not make a decision on your own without asking in advance. You better ask for permission. You, it, there is no, you know that saying, it's easier to beg for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. You better ask for permission here. You don't get to do anything. Even if you feel that this is the right way to go, you better not do anything without permission. And I'm just past that point in my life, guys. I'm way past that. I've been around the block a whole bunch. And see, you see what I love right here? You see what I love right here? This is what I love right here, and this is why this is beautiful. He had another option. He had another option. And because he had another option, when he got disrespected today at work, he was able to quit. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see, y'all. That's what I'm trying to get my supporters to see. The people that are watching Anonymous 2K TV, I'm saying great options for yourself. Come on, man. Please listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying create options for yourself. Without options, you're subjective to abuse in the workplace. You are subjective to sexual harassment. But my ladies, but some of you men too, that these women be sexual harassing. I'm saying you have to take what is thrown at you when you don't have options. You have to, you have to let motherfucker disrespect you on the job when you don't have options. But see, because he had a YouTube channel that just took off. I'm not saying it was just for the YouTube channel, but I'm saying the YouTube channel didn't hurt. I just hit 17,000 subscribers in less than a month. 
Whoa! 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 No more disrespect would I take from you, Mr. Man. You, you, you hear me? See, it's just like when a man got option, he don't take shit from the woman that ain't. Bitch, what? And I'm hungry than a motherfucker, and you in here talking? Okay, ladies, when, a, when, when you got option, do you sit there and still go through the fuck shit with a man? No, 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 Mr. Man. Today will be the last time. See, when we have options, we can maneuver with a clearer conscience, with a healthier agenda, with a, with a better mindset. We don't have to take crap from these jobs because you have options. But see, how do you get your options? You have to increase your value. Ooh, you have to increase your skill source. You can't go to the job and have do the job because you need to take the skill with you to the next job. But you have to apply yourself. You have to increase your knowledge on these jobs. That's why I tell you, don't go to the job and just say, I'm just doing my little part. No, oh, nigga, I'm going to clean this bitch up real nice. See, when I was a janitor, okay, nigga, see, this is what I mean. When I have my own reaction, I have my own experience. When I was a janitor, nigga, I used to wipe them bitches, wipe them goddamn chills down so good. Ooh, look at that. Get that right there. Uh-huh. And they used to be watching me upstairs, you know what I'm saying, the front office, and then the people that build the helicopters, they used to be like, well, you always clean the kitchen. Wipe that bitch off, nigga. Get that, yeah. Get that right there. Okay, get that right there. Boy, you clean that bitch. Let me see. Wipe that motherfucker. Get that motherfucker. Wipe them sides, get them sides real good, get them sides real good. Okay, I got my, I got my music in my ear. I'm chilling, nigga. Okay, clean that bitch up. All right, get the next one. Okay, get that motherfucker, clean that bitch up. Get that bitch up that like that. That motherfucker up that. Yeah, wipe that bitch up real good. Real good, I'm taking care of my shit. They don't come here, they gonna eat real good today. Yeah, okay, okay, that clean right there. Okay. I'm gonna wipe that wonder real good. Get that real good right there. That real good, get it. And see the talent in a young nigga. He here every day, seven days a week. He make no excuses. I'm sick right now. If you go back and listen to the beginning of the stream, you can hear how low my energy is. But we two hours in and when I'm turned up. See, because I have value in what I'm saying. I care that you understand that. When you increase your value, when you put effort into whatever you do, when you demand respect, no matter how much you're paying me, whether you're paying me $13 or whether you're paying me $58 an hour, I demand respect because I don't give a fuck about your money because I got my own revenue. I create my own streams of income. See, because I create my own streams of income, I don't allow no disrespect, and I tell you, the next thing, the next time you do that right there, and you won't be seeing me anymore. And when they say, we apologize. No, we apologize. Won't happen again. I understand exactly what you're saying. By the way, you know, oh, I'm going to give you a little extra. I appreciate you. But just know. Fuck your extra. Fuck all the other shit. Because I don't need you. I don't need you. You know why? You know why I don't need you? You know why I don't need you? See what that say? Yeah. Firearm license. And the regular license. See, because I got the paperwork. I don't need you. See, I got value in my, see, I got IDs that says that I don't need you as a client. See, I got reputation. Uh, I just hollered a nigga the other night. He said, man, I like you. Um, give me your number. He said, um, we just did a concert for a little baby. You know what I'm saying? And I always use some extra hand. See, this ain't the first time that, that, that 
If it ain't the first number, hey, hey, man, I work at the hospital, bro. Man, I love the way you do things, man. You know what I'm saying? I, I would love to have you. Can I get your number? This ain't the first time. No, nah, they always requesting me. They always want to get me. No matter what I say, the number is they say we want you. See, when you eat it, oh, my nigga, lay up king. See, when you got it in eat, lay up king, what you say, eat it, eat it. See, when you got it in black and white, you don't take no disrespect from nobody. See, when you increase show value, you don't take no disrespect from no company, no client, no corporation, nobody. You don't take no crap from nobody. What the fuck is you talking about? Now, if you ain't doing your motherfucking job, what's good, gang? Then, of course, they got a right to talk shit to you. But see, you ain't going to talk shit to me when I'm doing my motherfucking job. When I do what I'm supposed to do, but see, the value, it's the value what I'm trying to get y'all to see. When you have the value, they have to come at you a different way. They have to apologize. Yeah, yeah, I want an apology. Yeah, I want an apology. You wrong. Yeah, give me my motherfucking apology. Then give me some money too. Give me some money too. Bunch. I've worked for a lot of different companies. I've done a lot of different things. And I'm just way past that lifestyle of, and I'm not, you got to see me. I mean, I'm literally quitting my job and I'm cleaning out the truck before I do. Morris. I've already quit. They're coming Morris. to get the truck. I've already quit. And, you know, I, I came in. And when I uploaded my computer, this thing right here, my computer has all my work orders on it. There were no work orders. Facts. And then my boss, I, I, dude, I was on the clock for five minutes and he gave me a call and was like, hey man, I see you don't have any work orders. When were you gonna give me a call? True, Jordan. That was it. That was the fight. Cause I was literally getting ready to text the guy under him just to avoid all the, and I don't have a bad work ethic guys, nothing like that. And I was just like, you know what? That's the final straw. It's been a lot of things leading up to this, but the micromanagement, that good old boy, that, that, that I can't deal with that shit. I just, I just can't, man. It's, it's not for me. I'm not a, uh, a disobedient, disgruntled employee. I'm not like that at all. Like I said, you see me cleaning out my work truck before I quit. So if I was some kind of asshole, I'd leave it, you know, dirty or whatever. I'm not doing that. I just, uh. I don't do it. They, they, they asked me to stay. So it's not like they were, you know what I'm saying? Whenever I was like, the, the man's name's Gary. And I was like, you know what, Gary? I was like, I think it's just best if you guys come and get the truck. I got too much going on. I was, I was thinking of this in mind, but I didn't want to say that. I was like, I got too much going on, man. I'm trying to start my own business. And I, I was like, I, I even said, I said, I can't sit here and watch my business fail while I try to work at yours. And I was like, it just doesn't set right with me. So I think that I need to go ahead and you guys come get the truck. And he's like, well, if that's what you think, he even, you know, I felt like he was getting ready to offer me more money. Like the conversation was going that way. It just doesn't change. The, the lack of respect that you get, you know, like, like this. This is what a lot of, uh, see, this is why I say, this is why I'm one of the best security officers. Uh, most people tell me, like, they, they haven't met too many people like me with my ability to be aggressive, but at the same time, how kind I am, how respectful I am, how, how, how patient I am. And you know, um, but I also have the ability to get some act right. Um, but I, I know how to pick my ability depending on whatever situation I'm in. So respect, man. See, the most important thing about me and my field is respect. Respect takes you so far in life. You know, I get people that are much bigger than me to simply walk away and leave the club when they're not wanted, all because of the respect that I come to the situation with. And see, when I see clients that don't respect their employees or when I go, when I'm in a situation where my client is not respecting me, boy, it, it burns, it burns. And you be wanting to get them some act right quick. 
that you have a lot of people that you know they have this boss complexity you know but a lot of employees could benefit they could get so much out of their workers if they simply show more respect i i i i really it's just like 2k for an example 2k could get so much more money out of their clients out of their out of the, their clients if they simply show more respect even though they're they're having a broken game if they just come out and say we're working on it we're trying to get it fixed they have already they're already so deep into our hearts minds and soul that if they simply just came out and talked about the issues and said yo we understand we see what's going on the reason we can't get this fixed or the reason we can get this fixed or we're working on it they don't even do that they just simply go ghost they just hide and that what make the relationship between the client and the corporation bad that's what make our relationship so bad with 2k because we don't have a way to connect with them and explain our issues and they want us to go through their middleman which is the content creator and the country creator is just trying to make a dollar so he ain't gonna go to say exactly what it is all the time because he don't want to fuck up his connection with them so it's just like we have a lot of bad blood out here and i think if more people was to treat their employees with more respect and dig dignity i think we can get a lot farther in this in this situation of client versus employee relationship these damn companies will have you pay for insurance you know like they want you to get health care but then they don't want you to go take time off to go to the doctor you know what i mean like it's like well why the fuck am i paying for all this health care but i'm not allowed to go to the doctor or you know they they scream family but they don't want you to go to the kids functions or the plays or the programs at school like well you can't take those times off and you know it's it's like i told you guys this story That's before facts. about my dog dying facts. and my boss back then was like uh he was like, well, how long do you think you need? And I said, probably three or four days. And he's like, oh, we can't do that. And I was like, well, I quit. That's what cash heavy allows you to do, guys. I'm, I'm not trying to sound like an arrogant ass, but that's what being cash heavy allows you to do. When the disrespect comes in, when the boss doesn't want to listen to you, when people think they're above you or you're beneath them, all that type of shit, that's where cash heavy comes in. And you're able to say, you know what, man, goodbye. I don't need this job. I and, so, and so let me explain once again. Then he preaches a lot about having a lot of cash on hand, like, you know, not putting all your money in the bank if you don't have to, you know, um, get cash heavy, get cash heavy. So we hear him now today quitting his job, but like I said, he, he's already a six figure man, but he still have a job, right? And he already had lots of money that's stored away, right? But see, he didn't quit he didn't quit this job until he was able to produce a second stream of another not a second because I don't know how many streams of income he have, but he was able to have a a dream that he's chasing and his dream is blowing up. And he's and he's saying to himself, What well, I'm trying to get my company off the ground, which is YouTube that I'm building, and it's been blowing up overnight. Man, I'm finna try to go to work, but in the back of my mind, I'm I'm thinking about quitting this job, but then my boss come and say, hey, you wasn't gonna call me and say that you didn't have no work orders? That's it, that's it, I'm done. So he, he was able to quit his job today because he has a company that is blowing up and his, this company need him because what I'm, what I'm, what I'm, what I'm telling you y'all, you don't get these type of chances in Twitch and YouTube. In the social media, you don't just get seventeen thousand subscribers overnight. Once again, I started watching this guy at five hundred subscribers, and I turned my head and turned back. He got seventeen thousand to four hundred subscribers, and it's still going up. So that don't happen to everybody. So when you get a chance like that, and you and you go to your job where your boss doesn't appreciate you and respect you, oh yeah. This is my last day. I got a company that that's that's calling me. Uh, it just the light is shining on me right now. 
I'm finna go focus on this 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 light that is shining on me and for these people that is appreciating me. You know what I'm saying? So yes, he quit his job, but he had a income, a a a, a revenue that is um slowly coming in, but will increase. Cause I mean it's only gonna go up. Can't go down. Um at this moment in time. When you're hot, it's when the money come and, and the money just keep coming. And it's not necessarily about the money because he already has money. It's about the business that you're trying to create, the brand that you're trying to grow. So I think he made the right decision. Um, everybody not in a position to make this decision, and I know. I know some of my brothers and sisters in the chat right now. You can't quit your job. You can't quit doing something that you, you know, you want to get away from. You want to go start your, chase your dream. I understand. That's why I say everybody had this different situation. This is for him. This is not for you to look at this and say, damn, man, I want to do mine too. God will show you when you're ready for yours too. But you have to be doing the work to put yourself in a position to see. God didn't say quit your job today. He was he built himself up to a situation, and God is showing him what he can have. So it's on him to see that. And it's on him to make a choice to go to that that he's been given. So I'm not saying that. He just woke up today and can quit his job. If he would have did that, things probably would have been different now. When he quit his job, things may go different. But he still have to bet on himself. So you have to put yourself in a situation to get away from the thing that you say you hate. If you tired of being abused by your boyfriend, then you need to be breaking yourself away from this so you can move forward if you tired of dealing with a girl that's cheating on you you gotta break your way so what i'm saying is whatever you're doing that you don't like you have to set yourself up to get away from it if you hate the community you in then you need to be stacking your money to move to a different community am, am i making sense type one if you following me whatever it is that you don't like you have to work your way up to get out God going to show you the way, going to give you opportunities. There's opportunities all around you to, to get away from what you don't like. But you, you have to put in the work to position yourself so that you can be blessed for everything you desire. I can still afford my rent. I can still pay my bills. I can still do what I need to do. Goodbye. And I don't okay. want to mislead anybody to think. The name of this guy channel is Robert C.S. It's, the link is in the description. If you're on YouTube, all you got to do is go to the description and his link will be right there for you to click on it and go to his channel. That I'm leaving the job for YouTube. YouTube is a piece of it. YouTube is 25%. I'm leaving the job for me, for my own personal growth, my sanity. It's, it, the money isn't worth it to me. It's not worth it to me at all, man. In the beginning, it kind of was because I, I might have needed it back then, but it's not worth it to me at all. I'm literally leaving for me. I cannot sit here and build and brand and grow my business to the potential that I know it can become while I stay here working for this company. Because th this is a very high stress job and there's no way in the world that I can, uh, guys, that's why some of my videos come out, you know, when you guys are like, oh, you talk in circles or you're this, you're that, because I have not had time to script out proper videos. I have not had time to, to finish my YouTube strategy or to even, I haven't had time to even read books. You know what I'm saying? I haven't watched movies. I haven't read books. I haven't done anything. I haven't had time to consume any new information. That's why my brain is so outdated. I'm like, oh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Mm, because I've been so focused making a great point. at this company and trying to build my own. What? Well, so making is a great point. Off. Making a great point. He making a great point. And this goes back to what I keep telling us. When you're giving all your time to something that can't grow you, you get stuck behind. You get left behind. 
And that's what the same thing what I'm saying about 2K. When you put so much time into 2K, what book did you read? What audio book did you listen to? What 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 date did you go on with your wife? What did you do for your husband today? See, uh, some of us we're we the, the the little time that we get, we give it to 2K. You 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 gotta go to work, you gotta take care of the kids. You know, we just said this just the other day. You gotta do all these other things that are mandatory, and then the little free time you get, we give it a 2K. How do you get better? How do you get better? The time that's why I said, man, I, my life has changed. I'm trying to, I'm not lying to you. Since I stopped playing 2K like I used to, my life has doubled down into nothing but blessings. My money has went up. My wisdom has went up. My knowledge has went up. My family is doing better. I'm, I'm living better. My life has changed. I'm not lying to you. My credit has went up. I started with a five. I just looked today. I told you I started with a 520 some, but I looked on my Echo Facts. I started with them at a 505. I look at my credit score because I'm proud of it. I understand the credit score game in the system, but you need it. Okay, hello, wake up. <laughs> it's a game. It's a system that they created. But if you don't have it, your ass is grass. So we can talk all that shit, but we know it's real and we know it's fake. I have a 551 with TransUnion, and I'm transparent. I'll be transparent with y'all. I don't care. That's how I want you to know where I started at. I started at a 505. The lowest I had was a 505. Um, so let me go. Hold on. I have a, so I have a five. I mean, I have a six sixty three with Experian. I have a six fifty one with Trans Union, and I have a six. I have a six twenty seven with Echo Facts. And if you know anything about the about the credit score, they all give you fucking three different credit scores, but they usually the same. And somewhere in the middle is the bottom line. So I basically probably average, I probably have a 630 some or 640 some. But what I'm saying, could I have got there if I was still playing 2K? I wasn't focused on this shit. But all of a sudden, I don't play 2K no more. Now I know about housing. Now I know how to go buy a house. I know the proper amount to put down. I know about credit. I know about spiritual. I know about sexual, uh, my, my, my sexual path. I learned about that energy, that, that, what that, that energy to create a baby. I know what, how powerful that energy is. I understand how to properly create a business, how to properly brand it. I know how to properly communicate with others at a high level. I understand that my lingo has to change when I walk into different rooms. Man, it's just so much. I, I I learned more about banking. But all of these things came when I separated my time from 2K. Because guess what? It's mandatory that I got to go to work for 8 to 10 hours. Mandatory that I got to pick my kids up from school. It's mandatory that I have to eat and take a bath. I mean, you know, I understand for my fasters out there, yeah, I probably don't have to eat. but Oh, no, just just go along with me. So if these things are mandatory, right? That's about eight hours, ten hours. Let's say ten. Let's say twelve hours. So let's say fourteen hours of my life is mandatory. Then the other part, I'm saying, damn. Let me get some two K games in. So now I got five to six hours of two K games in. Now I gotta go to bed. My twenty four is gone. My twenty four is gone. So the time that I gave 2K could have been me educating my value, my value, getting my certificates. See, I didn't have, see, I was illegal doing security when I was playing 2K. I was doing it illegal. When I stopped playing 2K, I do it legal now. I'm certified now. 
Come on, y'all. Am I making sense? When I used to do security for help with my uncle, working with high-end clients, I was illegally doing it. When I stopped playing 2K, now I legally do it. When I had a gun on me protecting people, I was doing it illegal. Now I legally do it. Am I making sense? When I stopped playing 2K like I was playing it, I was able to start getting paperwork in my life that can back me and increase my value when I go and sell myself to my clients. I wasn't that selling in my mind anymore. I had to sell them. I got the paperwork. Don't trip. I'm licensed. So if anything was to happen, we covered. I got insurance. We good. Don't trip. Man, whew. That's the last couple guys I had. They didn't have no insurance, no paperwork. You know what I'm saying? So if anything would have happened, it would have been on me. And we know how much that costs if it's on you and not on the insurance of the individual of the security company. So a lot of y'all, we can be so farther ahead than where we are if we just remove the TV, remove the gaming, remove the clubbing, remove the hanging out. We can be so much farther than what we are today. I am living proof. My life has tripled, doubled, quadrupled since I stopped playing. The life I live now, and the reason I don't show it, is I had to be understand. I, I learned about new laws showing my lifestyle on the internet for people to be approved of me. Showing what I do for my kids. Oh, that was for y'all. Wasn't for me. I know what I do. Why am I taking pictures? See, what I realize is I got a whole bunch of videos and pictures, but they not on the internet. Because this is for me. I don't need to show the people my new car. I don't need to show the people my new house. And that's just a trick. Trick. So I learned how to win and celebrate my wins with the people around me. Not to celebrate my wins for Facebook, for YouTube, for Instagram, for Snapchat. You don't need to see my wins. That's the moment I started living outside of my wins and started to get, woo, I just hit a million dollars. Then I understand the law, the rhythm law, which says that me being so happy for these achievements also can have the opposite reaction of me going so low. We spoke on this a while ago, the rhythm law, the principles. As happy as you get, as sad as you can be. As broke as you can be, as rich as you can be. This is low. But see, I didn't know this stuff when I was playing 2K. I didn't know as happy as I get about 2K, as sad as I can get about 2K. Go look it up. Go look it up. Real shit. I have momentum. We talked about that. I have momentum. And if I don't take advantage of this window of opportunity, it is going to close right in my damn face. And some of you are in the exact same position that I'm in. I'm not telling you to quit your jobs. I'm telling you to take calculated risk when you chase your dreams. Calculated risk. I'm taking calculated a very risk. methodical, calculated risk, and I'm saying goodbye. That's it. He's not quitting his job because he blew up on YouTube. He's not quitting his job because he already had money stacked up. He sees a moment that has been sh that is shining on him right now, and through all his other endeavors and and, and 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 things he got going on, he's taking a calculated risk on betting on himself. He's not jumping out the window with no opportunities lined up for him. Hello, he's not going into work tomorrow and saying I quit. Then go home and look at the couch. Go home and play 2K. Not what he's doing. Anonymous did not quit his job building helicopters because 
I mean, I just feel like quitting today. I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm gonna quit today. I'm gonna walk in there. I'm gonna kill the motherfuckers. I ain't coming back. No, I love my job because. 2K was shining on me. Y'all was shining on me. Y'all poured into me and said, we here. So nobody is telling you to go and jump out the window. That would be dumb, right? That would be silly to jump out the window with nothing lined up. We are saying, line some stuff up. Start betting on yourself. In your off time, after you get off work and after you got everything settled, don't play 2K today. How about you go... And, and see what kind of things that you, what us things that you like they're gonna increase your money. They're gonna increase your your, your wealth of knowledge. They're gonna increase your value out here in this world, in this real world. What gonna is it is it gonna increase your value to be the best two K player? Not right now. Maybe when the game first come out, you could jump on that train and get in there and try to race. And try to put yourself, but right now, the people that are at the top of the food chain of 2K is already at top. What are you coming with that's gonna be different that's gonna get people to come watch your content? If you ain't got nothing that's gonna be different right now, then how about you put this on pause because you don't have an idea that can make you different on 2K? They're gonna draw in traction, they're gonna draw in attention and say, Everybody, come over here and watch this guy. He's this new guy, he's this new girl on the scene. Well, we ain't got no reason to come watch if you just like everybody else. So how about you put this on pause until you get an idea of how you can be different because there are so many of the same content creators, right? There are so many of the same 2K players. You know different, so there's no reason to come watch you. So how about you go and see what can you do in your real life to up your score, to up your game, to increase your value. Come on now. Come on. This job will never give me what I deserve. They will never treat me with the amount of respect I require. The same way, the, the way that I treat you guys with the love, care, and kindness is what I expect to get back. And I don't get that here. I don't, I don't get that at all. And this is the way I treat, the way that I treat you guys on the channel is the way that I treat the people in public, the way that I treat the people that work with me, work under me, work above me. And I don't get the same in return. It's a constant complaint. It's a constant nag. It's constant bitch this, bitching that. You know, it's constant bitching and complaining from this company. And I just don't have time for it. So it's time for me to say goodbye. And that's just the God's honest truth. It's time for me to say goodbye. Anyways, man, I hope that you guys wish me the best. I'm going to finish cleaning out this truck because that's what I want to do. Uh, I'm not coming back to this field. I'm not coming back to this company, but my reputation means a lot to me. I'm going to finish cleaning out this company vehicle, getting it squared away, making sure that everything, they get all their supplies back, get everything squared away. And I'm just saying goodbye. And that's, that's just, that's just where I'm at. And that's what I want to do. So anyways, man, you guys have a great freaking day. Wish me all the best. I'll be back. Matter of fact, it's going to free my time up. For you guys, I'm going to get the YouTube strategy out quicker. I'll be able to upload more content. We'll be able to have better conversations, more scripts. It's, it's, it's a no-brainer, guys. This is a freaking no-brainer for me. It's it. Make sure I don't have anything in there. It is. I might steal this. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep this. I'm going to throw this over here. Well, I think say he's taking the best with him. I'm going to keep that. I might need that. You know, I'll throw it in my old truck in case I break down or something. I got a utility vest to throw on. I'm going to steal. Now, let me show you another side of this. Let's say he don't actually quit his job. Let's say he actually is making a YouTube video but still have his job in the background. Would he be wrong? No. Let's see. The message is more important than anything. Let's say he made this video and still have his job. Would he be wrong? No. Because the overall message is what we care about. Having seen an opportunity for yourself and taking that opportunity. This man gained 17,000 subscribers in less than a month. 
that's an opportunity you have to take. You don't, opportunities like that don't come around every day. To be at home making content, to sit on your couch, kick your feet up, and produce content. Come on, dog. We know somebody that got to get up at 4 in the morning to be at work at 4.30, and then they don't get off until 10 p.m., 7 p.m. They got to, you know, we know people that get off of work at 3 o'clock but don't get home until 5 o'clock because of traffic. We know people that get off at 5 o'clock and don't get home until 7 o'clock because of traffic. Then they, come on. So you telling me you would rather choose that if you, if you ain't got to. You telling me you'll put yourself in that when you got an opportunity to do something else and it's calling for you? Man, some of us have opportunities and we need to take these opportunities. We need to bet on ourselves. You need to believe in yourself and you need to have faith. I'm not saying to go quit your job, to break up with your girlfriend. Yo, appreciate the new following to the family. If you like teamwork and defense, you love the channel. I'm not saying to. to Give up your life for a dream and a hope. Possibility. But I am saying, why are you forcing yourself to do something you hate? Don't you think it's time to create something on the side so that you don't have to continue to do something you hate? Why? Are you not properly bringing up something on your side? We know what you got to do. You got to get this paper. You got bills coming up. You got to get this paper. So don't quit your job yet. Go over here and bring something up on the side. Come on. I can't play 2K today. Why you can't play 2K today? Nigga, I got to bring something up on the side right quick. I can play 2K more because I'm doing something I love. When I get this thing on the side, I can do this. That's my job. Then I can play 2K a little more. But right now, I can't play 2K because I got this job that I fucking hate. And if I just keep going to the job that I fucking hate and then come back and play 2K, I'm not getting nowhere. I need to stop playing 2K for just a moment. My boy Sport Dad, y'all know my right-hand man on 2K. My boy Sport Dad said he was not able to play the entire 2K15 because he was creating his business. He had to miss an entire year of 2K because he was creating his business. Now y'all know where Sport Daddy, Sport Dad at? He's a big dog now. The whole time I was playing with a multi-millionaire, didn't I know? And you see what I'm talking about? The whole time I was playing 2K, the whole time y'all seen a guy with me every day, this dude, me and him, me and Sport Dad, the whole time this nigga's a multi-millionaire. What the fuck? I'm over here, nigga, struggling and trying to come up. But I was asking the wrong questions. I should have been asking him life questions, but I was asking him to run back door, to rap, to set the downstream pick. When you know better, you do better. When you know better, you do better. So you never know who's around. You never know what kind of friends you have on this internet. You can probably be playing with somebody that got them running for mayor. You probably when you fucking up. But guess what? A lot of times Sport Dad can't play the game. You know why? The Sport Dad is busy running his business. So it's a lot of time I'm out here and I got them, I gotta play with somebody that don't know me as well as he. But guess what? He can't be here. You think he whining because he can't play with me right now? No, he off doing what the fuck he gotta do for his company. Because this game can wait. With his company. This gang gonna be here. The same shitty shit that is here today gonna be here tomorrow. So why can't you pause this game for six months? I did. Well, I'm in a whole nother level now. You don't see me begging for subs, do it? <laughs> yeah. I'm very appreciative for all my G's that take the time out to sub up, but am I sweating a sub? Stop it. Because guess what? They're going to pay me anyway. 
They ain't gonna pay me what they would pay me if I had more subs, but they still gonna give me a check. And why they do that? I'm just building up my content, building up my creation, building up my brand. But most of all, most of all, I get to build up my message. This is the message. If you don't know what the message is, you ain't paying attention to it. With that being said, man, I just think I heard the little one, she waking up. So she done took her little nap. She only took a two-hour fucking nap. I'm coming to get you. Okay. So with that being said, we're going to get out of here, man. Y'all already know the videos that we react to. The link is in the description. We had another video that we spoke to and got to. You know how we do it. We'll be back tomorrow. Um, and we'll start it again. I may be able to play 2K this week, but like I said, I don't think I'm going to be playing 2K this entire week because the kids are out of school for Thanksgiving. And if I do anything, it'll be live streaming some knowledge for you. And we'll talk over some 2K videos, but I don't think I'm going to get a chance to play. But the ones that want to see me play 2K, man, they like, hey, well, I already know. Would you rather me play 2K or would you rather me hit you with some knowledge? I know most of y'all are going to say, nigga, play that goddamn 2K. But we're going to play 2K. I just don't know if it's going to be this week. Um, if we do play, it'll probably be on Saturday. Saturday, Saturday afternoon or something. But like I said, the kids are out of school, so I have to entertain them so I can't play 2K. Because, you know, when they go to sleep, you know, taking that little two-hour nap, I could jump on. But then I'll be having to look for teammates. So instead of doing that, I just come and live stream for them little two hours that they take their nap and live stream about some shit that's going on that can help us push us to the next level. So thank y'all for the support, man. I'm really grateful. I really appreciate y'all for rocking out with your boy. That being said, man, I'll be back tomorrow for some more of these videos like this, man. Thank y'all for the support. Y'all have a blessed afternoon.